Greetings, everyone, in the precious name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who alone is worthy to receive all the praises, honor, glory, thanksgiving, and power forever. I'm continuing on. I, this is part number eight, I believe, of my series of messages dealing with the pre-tribulation versus the post-tribulation rapture theory. And I'm sorry I have to do all these videos, but you know, you only get 10 minutes per video on YouTube. And I wanted to take my time and make sure I go go through this subject in detail because there's so much confusion and, and misunderstanding about the rapture, about the timing of the rapture. Uh, the most popular theory is that the rapture is going to take place before the seven year tribulation period begins. Uh, that Daniel spoke about in the in the book of Daniel in the Old Testament that last seven years. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get right into the scriptures uh, dealing with the subject of who is the bride of Christ that's going to be raptured? Who is the church? Is it just the New Testament believers in Jesus Christ? New Testament Gentile believers in Jesus Christ? Or is it the uh, Israeli, is it, is it Jewish believers also? You know, the, in Revelations it talks about 144,000 Jewish Jewish believers in Christ that are going to be sealed during the time of the Great Tribulation. And uh, it's going to be 12,000 from each tribe, each of the 12 tribes, 144,000. And this is the remnant that is spoken of throughout the Old Testament. You know, they were, the prophets prophesied that a remnant would be saved and that judgment would come and persecution would come to the to the nation of Israel but that a remnant would be saved uh, but like I said Perry you know Perry Stone and other other prophecy experts they believe that uh, that Israel is God's elect and in Matthew 24 chapter 31st verse that when, when, when it says that when Jesus said, I will, I will send my angels to gather together my elect from the four winds of heaven, from one end of heaven to the other, uh, that the elect he was talking about was Israel, not the church. Okay, so, and I think I cleared that up in my last, in my last video, but I want to go on a little bit further dealing with this subject, because the church is not only referred to as the elect, but we're also referred to as the body of Christ, Referred to, we refer to as the temple of God. We refer to as God's building. Uh, also known as the New Jerusalem. So let's look at that. Uh, let's go to 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. Also, we want to see who exactly who is in the bride of Christ or who's included in the bride of Christ is it just the Gentile believers or is it the Old Testament prophets and, 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 and Israel and we will just see who exactly is the body of Christ or the bride of Christ 1st Corinthians the third chapter And verse number, let's start with verse number 16. Paul speaking, he said, the Apostle Paul is speaking, he said, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Okay, so right there we see that the church is referred to as the temple of God. Let's look at uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, let's look at the the 10th verse. Paul speaking, he said, this is 3rd chapter, 10th verse, 1 Corinthians. Paul speaking, he said, according to the grace of God which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But, it, but let every man take heed how he build thereon, for other foundation can no man lay than that it is laid, which is Jesus Christ. 
So we see that this building, this temple of God, is going to be comprised and composed of Jesus Christ as the chief cornerstone, and then the apostles. Let's look at uh, Ephesians, the book of Ephesians and the second chapter. Starting with verse number 19, Paul speaking. Uh, let's start with verse number 18. For, for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. Okay, so we see that this temple, this holy temple is, is composed of the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone and 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 all the saints of God, all the saints of God. Okay, let's look at uh, let's look at let's look at First Peter five and thirteen. Going going back to this idea of you know some people believe that the church, I mean that the elect. Is only talking about Israel is not the church okay first Peter 5 13 says uh, the church that is at Babylon elected together with you saluteth you and so do Marcus my son greet ye one another with a kiss of charity peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus so Peter right here is, is speaking to the church that is at Babylon. He said they are. He, he called. He said that they were elected together with you. So you can't just say that the church is just Israel. No, that 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 would be completely wrong, false. And and you can't say that the elect is only Israel, because according to the Bible, that's false. Now I don't I don't care you know whether a person you know God is the teacher and the Holy Spirit reveals and gives us understanding and reveals His Word and His mysteries to us and anybody can be wrong. The thing about it is if you're wrong and you and and the, and, 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 you, and you see in the Bible that you're wrong, you should be man enough or a woman enough to admit that you're wrong and to correct your error and that's all I'm saying you know everybody you know it, it doesn't matter what my opinion is or, 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 or what I want what I want to what I want the Bible to say I can't I can't add anything to the Bible the, the Bible is complete it's the Word of God I can't add nothing to that God, God wrote the Bible. He used men to write it. He told them what to write. But God is the author of the Bible. And it is finished. I cannot add anything to it. I cannot take anything away from it. It says what it says and it means what it says. Okay, let's, let's, let's look at uh, Revelations. The 21st chapter, the chapter, verse number 1. Revelation 20, 21, 21st chapter, starting with verse number 1. We're still on the subject of who is the bride of Christ, who is the temple of the, what is the temple of the Lord, who is in it, and, uh, and, and the new Jerusalem and the bride of Christ. Okay, verse number 1 of chapter 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, 